Hi and welcome back to another Computex video. We are now not on the actual convention center, but in the Grand Hyatt Hotel, where Fantex has their own booth and suite. And we now want to check out their new cases or other cooling related products. This video is powered by Seasonic with their MacFlow fans. These non-RGB fans combine both a low noise level and at the same time high airflow. In addition, they come with the perfect daisy chaining cable management system. Depending on your requirements, you can connect a different amount of fans directly with each other. For example, two or three fans for water cooling on a radiator. The fans are held together with a magnetic system which is extremely strong and also electrically connects the fans. With additional adapters, you can extend this even further. So for example two fans on top of your PC for the AIO and a third fan as case exhaust fan. Find out more about Seasonic's MacFlow fans in the description below. We're starting with this uh, custom water cooling uh, demo system where Fantex showcases some of their new custom water cooling components and they're a bit different from what you're used to I think. So we have a new CPU water block that fits on both AMD and Intel I guess and you can see the fittings are different. They're not normal compression fittings. I'm going to show you in a second how these work. They also have a new pump reservoir combination and obviously they will also have new GPU cooling blocks. It's a bit easier to see this on this demo wall where we again have radiator, CPU cooling block, GPU cooling block, also the pump reservoir combination and again we can see the new type of fitting which is always going to be included in those components that you can see right here. And the interesting part is that they work for both hard and soft tubing. That can make installation easier, but also means that you're always tied to exactly 60 millimeters. It's a bit easier to see on this single block where you can see the teeth in the fittings. In English, I think it's called shark teeth and it's a typical push-in connector that you might know from some kind of um, like pneumatics systems. So you can either use soft tubing or hard tubing, push it in and if you want to release it, you just have to press it down and you can see how the teeth are disappearing. And there's an o-ring in the bottom to seal it off. That means you can easily connect and disconnect any kind of hard tube and soft tube as long as it's using 16 millimeters. Yeah, let me know what you think about that kind of system. That's the pump reservoir combination. Very nice manufacturing quality. D5 pump integrated quite a good amount of fluid you can put inside so that's pretty awesome it's 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 pretty bulky but I think that's that's good for a reservoir and again the same fittings on the side that's a single fitting and you can see it doesn't come with the typical G14 thread connection it's probably some metric maybe like M20 or something like that and all the parts will also come with this specific thread so you can insert the fitting like this and you can also take it out. There's a, like a hexagon part on the back where you can release it if you want to. That also means that you're always tied to these kind of uh, connectors. You cannot use a normal um, like G14 um, fitting with these uh, blocks that come from Fantex or the other parts. As you can see on the side, if you want to change position of the fitting in the reservoir, you can get it out in the front, put it in here, but you're always tied to this specific system. I also just asked and they confirmed they're also working on an adapter from this thread to G14. So in the end you will be able to also use different types of fittings if you want to. And they're also working on angled connectors with the same type of fitting. On the other side of the room I could find the Ento Pro 2XL and I was a little bit fooled by the front, the front surface. You can see it looks like brushed aluminum surface. From that angle, really high quality, but when I touched it, I figured out that's actually plastic. The reason that it's plastic is that it's a purely workstation and professional focused case that should allow high compatibility and also that you can put a lot of components inside. You can see the schematics of a server board and also holders for GPUs, so you can put theoretically like four GPUs and support them, plenty of space for radiator surface. And one of the reasons why they did the front end plastic is to keep the cost of the case as low as possible while maintaining high airflow and also a lot of space for a potential big workstation where it doesn't really matter if you have an aluminum front or not. In the other room we have the Evolve X2. The Evolve originally came out like 2014 and that is the latest take of Fantex about this case and I have to say that is one of the cleanest, most elegant looking system I've seen so far on Computex. 
a very, very impressive case. Price point also quite interesting for the look. It's about $150. And also the airflow concept is quite nice considering that you have a lot of glass surrounding it. So you have reverse fans in the bottom, pulling air in, pushing it directly onto the graphics card for good graphics card temperatures. And then you have the AIO that is putting out the air through this on top. Fantex says it's angled, so it's pushing the warm air away from the gamer. Not quite sure how relevant that really is, but it definitely looks pretty awesome. Also, you see the details with the brushed aluminum on the side, light strips. Generally, they also directly say that this is not made for custom water cooling. It's exactly made for this purpose, where you have an air-cooled graphics card and an AIO sitting on top. And I think that's also fair because the majority of gamers will probably go for exactly this configuration right now. Fantex also has a more budget-oriented case, which is the Eclipse G400A. We're going to look at the white version, but as usual, there's always a black one. And this one is a little bit different because it also has a tempered glass side panel, while this has a normal closed one. But we will start with the white version first. The most interesting part, I think, is also the mesh front that has a different type of mesh. So it's more horizontally ori oriented when it comes to the looks. There is a dust filter beneath. And then this is quite interesting. It's a very, I would say, airflow oriented shape. They said they made this specifically to close off openings next to the fan to prevent airflow recirculation. Because often if you have holes here, could be that airflow comes back out here and kind of circulates. And that's also the reason why those fans are included. So in the price of 99 US dollar, you have four of these 140 millimeter RGB fans already included in the case. And I think, especially with four of these fans included, that's a pretty attractive price point. And on this demo wall, we have the AIO I was just talking about, and here it's included in the next link system. That might remind you, of course, a link, even though Fantex says this is a purely budget-oriented fan connection or like AIO connection system. So we have Fantex fans right here that are connected to it, an AIO, light strips, different types of Fantex fans, and it all comes down to this control right here. It has multiple ports, and these are for the Fantex cables, normal fan hub, and that's also for the older Fantex um, fans like these ones, so you can also connect them. And what I really like about it is that they will include adapters, so you can hook up any kind of third-party fan or third-party ARGB device, and then control it over this extremely light and very easy to use software. That is what I would like to see with all kind of RGB software. That is pretty awesome. More price-oriented fans also looking very, very nice. These are daisy-chained, three of them 140 millimeter fans. The price point is going to be 30 US dollar. I think that's pretty awesome for three of those reverse blade fans. Daisy-chainable, as I said, you have cables that you can connect, clip together, put some of these covers on top to make it look nice. And they're also fixed together with normal fan screws. So if you just ever lose one of those, you will definitely have them laying around. 